Hello, and welcome to the 195th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Bruckert. We're going to be having another outstanding beer. Today, we're going to be having the Mackeson Triple X Milk Stout. Okay, so let's first talk about this beer because I'm going to really confuse you on this one because I was thoroughly confused on this. First of all, I've been drinking this beer for years, okay? The Mackinson was originally made in England, okay? Um, so, uh, over time, they started making a special variation, which was a little bit higher in alcohol content, not the 2.3 or the 3.3 or whatever the, the couple of different versions were, but a 4.9% that they made in Trinidad, okay? So they had this special uh, one that was made by Carib in Trinidad, which is what we have, the Triple X. That's the version that they would make in Trinidad. But the other day we were out camping and we, you know, while we were camping, we like to make a few stops by a few different breweries to check things out and see what's going on. And we, we decided to stop by the Florida brewery. And before we go, we kind of like to plan it out, see what kind of beers we're having. So we did, and uh, my wife said, oh, they have Mackinson. And I said, well, why would they have Mackinson? That's an English beer uh, or a Trinidadian beer. Or if you say Trinidadian, I'm not sure how you do that. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure why they would have that. So anyway, we went to the brewery, and sure enough, they do make it there. Um, they've changed the name of Florida Brewing to Carib. So they do the, not only do they make Kareeb there, but they do also make the, the Mackeson, and they still make some of the old uh, um, Florida Brewing Company beers, like the Sunset uh, Sunset Ale and things like that. So it was a very interesting trip, and we hit several different good breweries. But anyway, this is an old favorite, and a little cheers to my friend uh, Rick, because this was one of his favorite beers at one point, if not his favorite at a certain time. But... The beer rates 91 out of 100, okay? So it's in the outstanding category. And I would have to agree, look at that beer. You get a dark black color, a tannish off-white head, great, great um, uh, head on that beer that's just maintaining like a brick. Look at that. I mean, that's just a beautiful uh, milk stout. And a little thing about uh, Mackinson, I believe, and I need to do a little bit more research, but I'm almost 100% sure that I read somewhere that they were the first beer to ever include lactose, which is what makes it a milk stout, okay? So the lactose is what makes it a milk stout, and that's how they sweeten it with that, the lactose or the milk sugar, okay? So I think Mackinson was the very first. Um, Companies that are very famous for it are going to be like your left hand milk stout, um, and there's many others, but I think Mackison was the original. I think they did it back in 1907 when they first made this beer. They originally introduced the lactose, uh, the milk sugar, to create the beer. So, uh, kind of an exciting thing, and a beer that I actually love. And I had it on tap the other day at the brewery and it was tasted so fresh and delicious. I just had a whole new excitement and love for the beer. So anyway, let's talk about it. Um, let's smell it. Oh yeah, you get you get right off the bat, you get like a the roasted malt and like a bready type, like a, a dark bread kind of smell. And then I do smell the cocoa, and I know that the, the, the chocolate kind of comes through in the flavor, um, but you do get a, a slight hint of it in the smell. Mm, 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 mm. So we're in for a treat. So let's go ahead and, and, and dig into it here. Oh. Now, if you like a good milk stout, which I do, this was the original one. This was like the original milk stout, and I think everybody after uh, should follow their lead because they really did an outstanding uh, job on this. 
you get the, the chocolate, like the cocoa flavor, kind of a creamy um, uh, taste in there. Um, it's got a sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. Um, you do get a hint of coffee in there, uh, but the chocolate and the coffee kind of balance each other out, so it's not a bitter. Along with the sweetness from the from the lactose, I'll tell you, it's just a beautiful beer. I've been on a good run of, of beautiful beers lately, um, and this is no exception. Mackeson, to me, this beer that they make down in uh, Trinidad, the Island of Spices, they do an excellent job. And now we know that we can get it fresh um, over at Cape Canaveral at the Florida, uh, what used to be the Florida Brewing, which is now Carib, uh, which is over there pretty, pretty, no, pretty close to the Cape. Um, so anyway, absolutely phenomenal beer. Uh, they've been brewing it, like I said, uh, since 1907. Um, and, uh, just a little known fact in the islands down in Trinidad, they call it the King of the night, the King of the night, which is this beer. And I'm not sure if it, it's probably, they save the, the high octane, darker beers for late at night. Uh, that'd be my thing. Um, why they call it that, but the King of the night. Wow. Oh. And look at the beautiful lacing you get on that beer. As we talked, that's a, that's a sign of a good quality beer if you get that kind of lacing and you're getting it on this beer. So highly recommend the Mackinson. Um, I think you can get really good prices over there if you go over to the brewery. Um, it, I think it was like uh, 36 or maybe a little bit less than that for a case. Um, of uh, Mackeson, which is a really good value because it usually would run you uh, twelve ninety nine at six at least, um, if not more, because uh, it's an English beer. Uh, but uh, you get it over there for a good price, so make sure if you're over there, stop by and, and get some of this because it's well worth the price. And uh, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're talking about we're having how much fun we're having talking about great beer and drinking great beer. And if you want any cool beer issues gear like beer issues hats, beer issues shirts, beer issues phone case, um, make sure you go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.